Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another video. I've kind of given in and decided I'm going to follow the trend. A lot of people have been asking for this and I've even been tagged in various videos to talk about the Final Fantasy XIV classes tier list. So tier lists are the new hip thing, people like putting things into categories and I have to say this is my personal opinions put into this. It's obviously not going to be any official list or anything. The fact you have to say that these days is just a reason why 2019 just smells really bad. Just, oh, I hate it so very much. But regardless, we're going to conform. We're going to actually come to this and decide once and for all so people know what to hate me for. And um, so, yeah, essentially the idea here, if you've not been around in the past few months and uh, you're not a hip kid like I'm certainly not I mean I'm 30 but I feel like I'm 50 at this point is uh, the basic general idea is that you have S A B C D basically the red one is the best ever sort of like your best ever in your opinion and D would be like garbage tier basically we might as well type that actually garbage tier so yeah wow you might want to spell tear right with a correct eye. And there we go. So, yeah, you know how this works. You drag these things around. So, let's start then. Blue Mage. <laughs> Can you really start with Blue Mage? That's a little bit rough. Um, Blue Mage. Thing is, it was implemented the way they said they wanted to implement it. But it just doesn't have enough content. And it's not what the majority of people wanted. And the excuses make people not too happy about it. Me, personally, I don't feel that Blue Mage offers more than a few days of gameplay. But it did offer me some gameplay overall. It wasn't terrible. And I'm sure they'll add to it in the future. So I can't really put it on garbage tier. Just because I do actually enjoy it. It's just not, it's just not there. It's kind of like here, isn't it? We're going to put that on C. That seems a bit harsh, but it is Blue Mage. It's a limited job. The limited job system in general would be about here, unless they do something amazing and then it would be up here, closer to the sort of like A or S area. But until then, Blue Mage, C. So what else have we got? We've got Dancer. I think Dancer, a lot of people would say, including myself, they wanted a healer, but we haven't got to play it yet. Um... I like the idea of another ranged physical, I just don't like the idea of it essentially being replacing Machinist instead of fixing Machinist, maybe. I'm going to put that A. It's not something I'm, like, amazed with, but it's not something I'm horribly, you know, dissatisfied with either. I will play it, I'll probably enjoy it. Uh, well, I'll definitely enjoy it more than Machinist. So, Gunbreaker... Gunbreaker is very hype. Again, I've got to put this up here simply because, well, I've not played it yet. It might be good, it might be terrible, but it looks awesome. Gunblade's one of the best things ever in Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy VIII being my favourite Final Fantasy game ever, if I have to put a name on it. So, yeah, Gunbreaker can go there. So then we have Red Mage. Red Mage is actually really fun. Um, I'm going to put Red Mage up here. A. It's good. I play it quite a bit here and there. It's not that complicated, but it's it does what it does. It's easy to pick up, it's easy to play, and I enjoy it quite a bit. Black Mage. Black Mages are incredibly fun. Um, they're sort of difficult to play, which is what I admire about them. And yeah, hopefully they get some love in the job announcements. I'm going to have to put this up here because it's it's just fun. Machinist, Machinist can go down there. I'm so sorry to anybody who plays Machinist. It's one of my, if not least, favourite in the entire game. And the reason for that is just because I feel like every animation is boring. It just doesn't feel very visceral or tactile. They've really got to work on that. It's not incredible in terms of DPS. I mean, I'd much rather take a bard to a party and there's certainly a dancer as well when that comes out over a machinist. Think of me what you will. This is my opinion at the end of the day. And I just think they're uninspired. They need a lot of work. And hopefully they do get some love so we see them up here somewhere. But yeah, as it stands, 4.0 series, machinist, garbage. 
Summoner. Summoner's quite fun, but I've not really had that much time with it. It's the sort of thing that I hope gets some love, but it's not it's not at the top for me personally. It's sort of like middle of the road. I enjoy it, but it's not something that I would choose to play in preference to Black Mage or even Red Mage at this point. So yeah, I'm excited to see what pets they get though and what they do with Summoner in 5.0. That'll be fun. Monk. Monks are fun. Monks are generally quite fun. I'm going to put that up here. It's not something I can say that I've mastered yet. I certainly haven't. Um, but it's very enjoyable. And I just like where there's some complexity to a class. Where you have to actually think about things. The rotation looks fun. I can't pull it off quite yet. Um, yeah, it, it's just good. At the moment, I think that's where it belongs. It's one of the strongest in raiding as well, which is another reason it's up there. Bard. Bard is fantastic. Um, you can't really beat that. In PvP-wise, I think I play Bard all of the time. It's just so much fun to snipe people and kill them. In PvE, it's relatively easy and quite enjoyable. Okay, so what have we got next? Oh, Ninja. Okay. Um, Ninja is... F eh, eh, eh. It's one of those ones that I like, but I don't play. It's just not that exciting to me personally, but I see a lot of others enjoy it. It's very good at the moment, but me personally, it's sort of in line with Summoner. I'd rather take a different melee myself if I had to choose. You know, I've got all of the jobs at 70. I'd rather play, like, Samurai, for example, would be probably here. I have the most fun with Samurai at the moment. I don't know why. It's just... It is very easy at the end of the day, I feel, but it just feels really good. All of the spells are quite good. I don't know, you can call me a weeb if you like, but I, I really like my samurai. There's there's no other way of going around it. Dragoon, Dragoon's another good one. I'd put that in sort of like the A area. This is again something I'm not amazing at playing myself, but I'd still rather, you know, play a Dragoon than I would a ninja, personally. And that's just how it is. Scholar... I don't like Scholar. It's going to be one of those um, sort of contentious things that people don't agree with. Scholar is not my favourite. I just don't like having a fairy. I just don't like the management of a pet in general. It's just not my cup of tea. I can see how powerful it is and how powerful they plan to possibly make it in Shadowbringers. But it has to sort of stay there with Blue Mage. It has very little interest and very little playtime for me personally. And I'd say that Dark Knight is probably in the same region, and we're talking 4.x sort of tier, not 5.0. I'm sure this will go up here, considering it's going to be the flagship for the new expansion. But for now, it's just not interesting to me in general. Um, but I'm sure that'll change in the future. So Astrologian is a lot of fun. I quite enjoy it, but it's sort of like I'd rather take a... It's kind of like A or B. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think Astro would have to go here just because I've said that I have like less interest here and I do actually have some interest for this. Much more than I do for Scholar. This is a very weird list, I know. Um, Astrologian has a place in my heart. It looks good. It plays well. I like the RNG mechanic to it. I'm sure they're going to simplify that as we talked about in the recent State of the Realm podcast with Mr. Happy, we talked about the possibility, or at least the possibility he theorized, of them taking away the Spire, which could well be a possibility. And um, yeah, I don't know. It'll probably shift depending, but it sort of stays there. White Mage goes to the top. I love White Mage. It's just, it's good. I, I really am quite scared when they talk about simplification of the healers, specifically my white mage. I love it. It, in general, does what I want it to do. I can perform to the best of my ability on this role. I know it the most out of all of the others. Yeah, it's just, it's pretty much been my main since, you know, 1.0. So, yeah, it's good fun. Paladin. Uh, Paladin. Paladin should go sort of here-ish. I like it. It's a good alternative um, to the sort of tank that I usually play. It's fun. Gear looks amazing. 
it's just not as good as Warrior, which definitely takes the top spot for my tank. I absolutely love Warrior in 4.0. It's been one of the most fun sort of side activities I've ever done. Um, if I have to run for a dungeon, I will definitely choose to be a Warrior. If I make an alt where I want to, you know, actually play with other people on other servers, I'll make a Warrior. It's just fun. The queue times are amazing. I don't really have any troubles with this over the other tanks that are available. Yeah, it's just really fun, and I love, you know, Felcleave. Who doesn't? So that's pretty much my tier list. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, I suppose, and a lot of people will be moaning at me for the next few days, and I imagine the comment section is going to be pretty interesting, but this is my personal list. I have various hopes for Shadowbringers. I hope a lot of this actually changes. I'd love to see these particular ones here, like Summoner and Ninja, go up to the A sort of rank for me personally. I'd love to see Scholar improve. I'd love to see Scholar and Dark Knight move up. Blue Mage is going to take a while. It doesn't really seem to be moving that much. Um, there doesn't seem to be any activity in terms of plans for this. Um, you know, before adding another limited job, they might want to think about actually implementing a system where you can use the limited jobs other than just in that, you know, one arena mass carnival thing. And Machinist, I really hope they do something fun with that. It's just not as enjoyable as I would have hoped. Um, but that's a personal preference and I don't really know why I hate it so much. It's just, it's just not fun. That and the Machinist, um, like the Ether pack, I would love the ability to just turn that off. That's another thing that puts me off, the aesthetics of that big bulky thing on the side of your gear with every weapon, and it's always the same. Yeah, that thing really sucks quite badly. I feel sorry for every machinist I see because of that. You know, you've got this amazing looking gun and then just a piece of metal on the side of your glamour. Horrible. And it clips through most things as well. Anyway, that's my rant over. Thank you kindly for watching whatever the hell this was. Um, this is in response to people like work to game who asked my opinions. Well, you've got them now. This is a, a dangerous sort of video to make. But thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.